I took the blows in my face and my body. All of those deaths, the long parade to the graveyard, father, mother, Margaret, that dreadful way, so big with it, it couldn't fit in a coffin, but she had to be burned like rubbish. You, you just came home in time for the funerals. Funerals are pretty compared to death, Stella. Funerals are quiet, but deaths aren't always. Sometimes their breathing is hoarse. Sometimes it rattles, and sometimes they even cry out to you, don't let me go. Even the old sometimes say, don't let me go, as if you can do anything to stop it. But funerals are quiet, with pretty flowers, and oh, what gorgeous boxes they put them in. And unless you were there at their bed when they cried out, hold me, you would never know that there was a struggle for breath or that there was bleeding. You didn't dream, but I saw, saw. And now you sit there telling me with your eyes that I let the place go? How in the hell do you think I paid for all that sickness and that death? Death is expensive, Miss Stella. An old cousin Jessie's right after Margaret's hers. Why, the Grim Reaper set his tent up on our doorstep. Our home, Belle Reeve was the Grim Reaper's headquarters. Honey, that's how it slipped through my fingers. Which of them left us a fortune? Which of them left us even a cent of insurance? Only poor Jessie. Only a hundred to pay for her coffin. And I, with my pitiful salary at the school, that was all, Stella. So yes, accuse me, sit there, stare at me, think that I let the place go. Where were you? You were in bed with, with your pollock.